the question and the question says is that the two masses m capital and small m are connected by a string that runs without friction through the stationary tube a mass m rotates at a constant speed in horizontal circle with radius 0.25 meter and the weight of m provides a centripetal force to the m so weight this weight is providing the centripetal force time period for rotation is also given t is equal to 0.5 seconds so what is m by m ratio so we have to calculate m capital m by small m ratio so in this question what is the this question main, mainly is that the centripetal force fc is equals to mg so fc equals to capital mg because the weight of m provides a centripetal force this is so the centripetal force the formula for centripetal force is given to you in your data booklet you can see that is 4 pi square r divided by t square so i am also using your data booklet so fc equals to m into 4 into 3.14 that is the value of pi then the radius r is 0 0.25 and the time given is 0 0.5 that's square okay and mg is m into 10 so now we will equate m into 10 equals to small m into 4 into 3.14 whole square into 0 0.25 into point okay so 0 0.5 whole square is 0 0.25 only so this will goes off and capital m upon m equals to you can do the calculation at your end in your free time to 10 so now we will use the calculator okay so 4 into 3.14 into 3.14 this divided by 10 so when we have divided by 10 this is equals to 3.9 So the option is C. C option says four. It is very equal near about. So it is all depends that whether you are using 10, 10 or 9.8. That is a gravitational g. So now we will check the mark scheme. Mark scheme says the C option is the right option. So like in this question, what we have done is we have just equalized the centripetal force to the mg because in this question the weight of m provides the centripetal force of motion m so it was given so we have equalized it thank you for watching this video